Got a minute? I'm Tamara Eastman, Defense Commissary Agency's Deputy Historian with a Minute of History. Before World War I, American women working outside the home held traditionally female jobs, such as secretaries, nurses, and teachers. The war changed that. Women often filled retail and industrial jobs left by men who joined the armed forces. Women enlisted too, as women Marines, Army nurses, or Navy yeomanettes, many of whom ran produce, dairy, or meat departments at Navy and Marine Corps commissaries. Civilian women worked as commissary clerks and cashiers at home and overseas, like these in Paris. During World War II, thousands of women had industrial jobs vital to the war effort. Others enlisted in every service, filling new non-combat roles, pilots, mechanics, parachute riggers, photographers, and lab techs. In commissaries, they worked in every department. After the war, many women working in food service and retail, including those in commissaries, stayed on the job. Today, 55% of DECA employees are women. As they earn promotions, the number of female managers and store directors increase. 20% of DECA's store directors are female, twice the percentage it was in 1991. Recalling 145 years of the commissary benefit, I'm Tamara Eastman, DECA's Deputy Historian.